Hello everyone and welcome to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How was your weekend? That's so nice to hear. Are you ready to get started with our good morning song? Let's stretch our arms out like airplane wings to start off with. Now fly that airplane to one side, fly your airplane to the other side, back to the middle. You could make a T with your arms like this. Now let's bring those arms out in front into a big circle. Bring that circle up, up, up over your head and give a little stretch to one side. Stretch over to the other side. One last stretch up at that top and back down in front. If you know the words to this song, you can sing along with me. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day so far. Let's get started with circle time. The first thing that we do is begin with the date. And when we say the date, we start off with the month right up here at the top. Do you know what the month is? March, that's right friends. The month is March and today is March 29th. So let's move the chip over from 26. That was the last time that we met to 27, 28, and put it right on the number 29 because today is March 29th and right up here we have the year. Now there are two ways that you can say the year. One way is 2021, but you can also say that the year is 2021. Both ways are correct. Will you say the date one more time with me? Today is March 29th, 2021. Look at my ch calendar chart, friends. Do you notice that the month of March is almost over? So instead of counting all of the days that we've had in the month of March, let's use our counting fingers and let's count the remaining days that we have left in the month. Can I see your counting fingers like this? Give them a little stretch. We don't have very many days to count. Are your counting fingers ready? So after today, we only have one, two more days left in the month of March. The month of March is almost over. And do you know what month will come next? Listen carefully to the words in this next song. It goes like this. January, February, March and April, May and June, July and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. Did you hear the month that comes after March? April, that's right. After the month of March is over, we will have a brand new month called April. Okay, friends, let's sing the Days of the Week song. And in order to sing this song, can you show me your seven fingers like this? If you know the words, you can sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's travel back down to the bottom of the chart, right down here. Do you remember what the day was yesterday? Here's your clue. Yesterday was s Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday, the last day of the weekend. So that means that today is m Monday. Today is Monday, the first day of the weekday. And if today is Monday, that means that tomorrow will be t Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. But let's go back to today 
and let's sing Today is Monday together. It goes like this. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long. Let's travel back up to the top of the chart. Right up here we have the season. Do you know what the season is? Spring! That's right, friends. It's springtime. I noticed a new sign of spring the other day at my house. So a few weeks ago, I noticed that the daffodils were starting to poke out through the ground. You could see the little green stems poking through the earth. And the other day, I saw that those stems have little buds on top of them. So soon, those flower buds will open up into blossoms and the daffodils will begin to bloom. Friends, it's time to sing the weather song together. Will you sing along with me? What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Do you see my picture right down here? This is a picture of a cloudy day. When I look outside my window right now, the sky is gray and white and full of clouds. My temperature chart is on light blue. That means that it's cool at my house, a cool, cloudy day. What's the weather like where you live, friends? Look outside your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Now, let's move on to the letter of the week. Because we are starting a brand new week, we have a new letter to learn. This letter says D, D. Can you make that sound with me? On the count of three. One, two, three. D, D. And do you know what letter this call is called? D, that's right. This is a lowercase d, and d says d, d. Now it's time to guess what's inside of the letter box today. So inside of this box, I have something that starts with the letter d, d. Here's your first clue. This is a type of an animal. This animal can be big, or small. Many people have these animals for pets. And this animal says bark, bark, or woof, woof. Do you know what it is? Let's take a look. It's a dog. A dog starts with the letter D, D, D. Now this dog is medium size. This dog is called a collie, but some dogs are larger and some dogs are smaller. Do you have a dog for a pet at your house? This is how you write a lowercase d, d. One more time. Now let's move on to the number of the week. We also have a new double digit number to talk about. Take a look at this number. Do you know what number this is? 17. This is the number 17. And because 17 is a double digit number, you have to write two numbers when you write the number 17. Can you show me with your fingers what number this is? One, that's right. And after you write the number one, you have to write this number. Can you show me with your fingers what number this is? Seven, that's right. When you write the number 17, you write the numbers one, seven. And now we are going to count 17 tally marks together. And remember, tally marks are just lines that I'm going to draw on the bottom of the chalkboard and we can count them together. Here we go. One, two, 
three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen goes across, sixteen, and one more makes seventeen. Seventeen tally marks. And let's take a look inside the box and see what we have to count today. I have 17 twigs. Now when we count the twigs, usually I will make them just like the tally marks. I'll group them into a group of fives. Are you ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, Five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen goes across, sixteen, and one more makes seventeen. Seventeen twigs. Okay, friends, now that we've gone over the letter of the week, and the number of the week, we have a brand new sign to learn this week. This week, I'm going to teach you how to say rain in sign language. And remember, sign language is a language that uses hand gestures and facial expressions to communicate instead of speaking out loud. This is how you say rain in sign language. Watch carefully first. Would you like to try? That's right, friends. When you say rain in sign language, you take both of your hands and spread your fingers apart like this and curl them slightly. And when you bring them down, that's how you say rain. Now this is a light rain, but sometimes, even in the springtime, you have a stormy heavy rain. And if you wanna show a stormy heavy rain, you go like this. That's how you say rain in sign language. As the new month approaches, we are going to begin a brand new unit on springtime. And this week, we are going to focus on the weather. Now, springtime is one of my favorite seasons because after a long, cold, snowy winter, I really look forward to seeing the grass again and working in the garden and warmer temperatures. But springtime weather can be pretty unpredictable, which you'll soon see. So let's take a look at the weather chart right now. Right now, when I look outside of my window, it's cloudy. But right before circle time started, it was raining. Now, why does it rain so much in the springtime? Well, in the northern hemisphere, as the temperature gets warmer, air can hold more moisture, which leads to the rain but we can't talk about the rain without mentioning clouds. Friends, clouds are not all the same. Maybe when you look up into the sky, you notice that the sky is clear and mostly blue, but there may be a few thin wispy clouds floating about. Or maybe you look up in the sky and the sky is dark and filled with storm clouds. Clouds form through processes known as evaporation and condensation but clouds aren't all the same. So maybe when you look up in the sky, the sky is mostly blue and you notice a few thin wispy clouds floating about. Or maybe you look up in the sky and it's dark and full of storm clouds. Let's take a look at a few examples of different types of clouds. So at the top, these clouds are called cirrus clouds. Cirrus clouds are thin and wispy and delicate. In the middle, we have cumulus clouds, and cumulus clouds are fluffy and puffy. And at the bottom, we have stratus clouds. Stratus clouds are foggy and low to the ground. When I look outside of my window right now, I see stratus clouds. Let's move on to today's work. And for today's work, you will need the help of a grown-up. Let's go check it out. For today's work, 
you will need a glass jar with a lid, two cups of hot water, not boiling, just hot, some matches, and a few ice cubes. And today's work will definitely need the help of a grown up. So start off by taking the lid off of your large glass jar and you're going to pour the hot water into the jar like this. Next, have a grown up light a match, hold the match into the jar, drop it in and quickly Seal the jar with the lid. Add a few ice cubes to the top. And look at the jar. Do you see the cloud that's forming inside of the jar? The water is at the bottom and the air at the top is filling up with a cloud. Keep watching. If you look closely at the jar, you can see the cloud moving around inside. And after a few minutes, when you take your ice cubes off of the top and open up the lid, watch what comes out. On the count of three, we'll take off the lid. One, two, three. There goes the cloud. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Do you have a favorite kind of cloud? Maybe you like cumulus clouds because they're puffy and remind you of cotton candy. My favorite type of cloud is a cirrus cloud because usually that means that the sun is still shining. Thanks for learning with me today. After we sing our goodbye song, be sure to stick around because I have some quick prep work to show you for tomorrow's activity. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Can everybody wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's work requires a quick preparation, so let me show you what you'll need for tomorrow's work. I have a small bowl right here. You can also use a small cup, and I found these seed pods from an anise hyssop plant, which is a perennial that grows outside of my yard. You can use other organic material that you found outside, or you can even use some objects that you found inside of your house. Pretty much anything that will fit inside of a small bowl or a cup will do. So I'm going to take the seed pods and just place them around the bowl like this. The next step is to add some water into the bowl. So fill up the cup or the bowl with water once you've added your object. And then I'm just going to place this bowl of water with the seed pods inside of the freezer and let it sit in the freezer overnight. Once the water freezes, we'll be able to use it for tomorrow's work.